let's talk about the rules of solitaire, the card game. Now, colloquially, if you will, when most people say, I'm going to play solitaire, they mean a game that's actually called Klondike. So we're going to talk about how to play Klondike. And if you've ever sat down and played solitaire or watched someone play solitaire, when you see me deal Klondike out, you'll recognize the game. Every solitaire game has what's called the stockpile. Most solitaire games are one or two decks. This one is one deck. And what you do is you take your deck, your stockpile, and I'm going to deal this out from your perspective. You deal one up and then six down. So you have what's called a seven column tableau or seven pile tableau. And then for each column that you don't yet have a face up card, you add a card, turning the first one face up. I'm going to put one here and then face down, face down, face down, face down, one here and so on until I have a face-up card at the end of each pile on my tableau. Over here, I'm going to have one card up. And then it's one card down, one card up, two down, one up, so on, until I'm over on the right, you have one, two, three, four, five, six cards face down, one card face up. And if I were better at spatial issues, this would look a lot prettier. Yours will probably have a nice triangular shape to it. So now we've dealt out our tableau. This is our stockpile. And the object is to move all the cards, either from the tableau or from the stockpile, into four foundations. See them? Well, they're invisible, if you will. But what you're going to do is you're going to move an ace up here and then move cards of matching suits. So let's play the game out and see how it works. So there are a couple of ways to play. You can move one card from the stockpile to what's called the waste pile, or you can move three at a time. For the sake of demonstration, let's do three at a, three at a time. That is actually the most common way to play. And the top card is the, a jack of hearts. And to be able to move it down to the tableau, I would need a queen of the opposite color. Hearts are red, so I'd need a queen of spades or queen of clubs. That doesn't exist on the board. But speaking of that board, something you can do is move cards around the tableau if like with this nine of hearts, I can find a black 10 elsewhere on the tableau, then I can move it over. And that is the case. I can move the nine to right there on top of the 10 of clubs. Then I would return to where I pulled the nine and turn it over. Look at that. Lucky me, queen of clubs. I get to move the jack of hearts down. That reveals the 10 of diamonds. I don't have a black jack onto which I can play that 10. If I look at the board, I have no other plays. So I'm going to deal three more cards from the stockpile onto the waste pile. The top one is an ace. Very cool because now I can start a foundation pile. There is the ace of diamonds. Now I can add the two of diamonds to it. The two of diamonds is not available. But the next card on the waste pile is another ace. But I do notice, and this will happen to you sometimes when you play the game, you see a move that maybe you could have made earlier. I notice it now. Six of hearts can be moved over to a black seven. There's the seven of clubs. So I move that. I turn over the two of clubs. Look at that. I can move this two up to the club found foundation pile. So do that. And now this three of clubs can be moved over. That reveals a king for me. And what happens with a king? A king can fill a blank spot on the tableau. So you see how this game works. We've just demonstrated 
everything, every aspect of the game of Klondike, which is the game that most people call solitaire. A couple of rule variations to mention for you. You can play it flip three over onto the waste pile at a time, which is the way we played, and you can give yourself three passes through the stockpile or the deck, also known as the deck, or you can say only one pass. Alternately, you can do flip one over at a time and say I have unlimited passes or I'm only going to do one pass. It really depends upon how hard you want to make the game. If you play the game enough, you can play with the different rule variations and see which difficulty level works best for you. Either way, it can be a lot of fun and help you pass a little bit of time.